before. They're basically donuts. Um, but they're super fucking good. And we bought some. And I ate them and they were fucking great. So uh, that was that's at least a 3 out of 10 for me for that one. If you're ever in Jersey and you want to do something fun, go there. It's awesome. It sounds like a real field trip. It is, yeah. A fucking flour mill is worth more to you than us. Well, no. I mean, my kids wanted to see it and stuff. It's only open on Monday and Tuesday, so... Th- you can't you can't just you can't just rock up there whenever you want. It's all volunteers that run it. It's like part of the um, what do they call it like the it's like the Royal Preservation Society or something like that. I, I can't remember. Anyway, it's this thing that where they you know look after old buildings and history and shit like that. Yeah, it's really good. That side of it was good. The rest of it not so great. And that's why I'm so late today. I apologize, but we'll still have some time to play. Listen, um. I've had access to this for a couple of uh, days, weeks, uh, ahead of this. Uh, And you you, you would have saw the other day when we opened that box, they sent me a new mouse and a bunch of stuff and a plushie that my daughter now uh, sleeps with every night, which is pretty nice. Um, They gave me a key to the, uh, for the new DLC and stuff as well. And I've made, I made a couple of parks and then I settled on this, this one that I've been working on. I'll show it to you. I'll give you the tour. There's not much lore yet though. It's still like... It's still early days for this one. I'm, it might change a lot as well, but we'll do a little tour and then maybe we can get like some kangaroos or something in. It'd be kind of fun or so. I don't know. Anyway, okay, here we go. Back in Planet Zoo after all this time. Here is the front entrance to Old Hogan's Australia Land Australian themed park. You'll probably notice straight away. We just started this. I just started this last night. I just built this just so people would have something to edumacate themselves with in the first instance. Look, I haven't done any of the staff buildings or anything yet. Can you see everything here, by the way? Yeah, okay, that's fine. We have enough staff to sort of keep things running for now. It's all right. Um, You walk through the main street here, Main Street USA, and we have some saltwater crocodiles. Oh, look at these beasts. Look at that, he's eating a bit of pumpkin. They've got all the enrichment and stuff they need. Uh, their social's not great because there's not enough space. I made some of these pens a little bit too small. We'll get to that after. Um, you need a lot of space for some of these animals, it turns out. Um, there's, I have a bit of a beef with some of it as well because you end up with these gigantic cages. But see, look, okay, I'll show you. Okay, so see him go. Off he goes. Sorry, that's that's Adriana. That's the, uh, the the female. She's 60 years old. Unbelievable, eh? All right, so you look in welfare here. So the average welfare is pretty good. Enrichment's 100%. Habitat is 99%. Nutrition's 99%. They've got shelter. they got water. they got plants and shit like that. Right? That but doesn't see, look. look very accessible to people in wheelchairs. No, I stink. Uh, thanks for the 10 bucks. You know what? It is completely accessible to people in wheelchairs because look, it's all flat. All right? The only problem starts here. But you know what? There's nothing in here yet. You just you you know what? You don't even need to go up there. What you might want to do is just send your dad up there to get like a a plan of the park or, you know, a balloon or something like that. You know what I mean? You're not missing out on it. There's a couple of ATMs up there and stuff. It's fine. It's fine. I think it's fine. We, you're right, though. We probably need some more ramps. We'll get some more ramps in here. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, see this? The navigable swimming area. There's not much of it, see? They need at least 315 square meters. They don't have that. And that's because once you start putting rocks and shit in here, it takes away... And then when you get another crocodile in here, I want these ones to mate. By the way, this is not franchise mode. This is challenge mode, okay? I'm joking, fuck those legless bastards. I stink, that's so rude. Uh, but thanks for the 10 bucks, all the same. Thank you very much. Um, I'm playing on challenge mode because... Um, you, you, you still earn leaf bucks and stuff. But, see, the animal trading isn't done with other players. The animal trading is just, like, random. So sometimes you build a pen, and you want to buy an animal, and you just can't. You have to wait. And then you eventually buy it. So breeding is very important when you play challenge mode. But it's all offline. You don't have to connect to the franchise servers and shit like that. So I thought, you know what? Because it was I was trying to play the other day, 
and it was in maintenance and I couldn't connect and stuff and I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna play challenge mode instead. So I bypass all of the online stuff and I can play whenever I want. Yeah? Refunds are gone. Yeah, they don't seem to be here anymore as well. We've played a lot of this game, okay? If you're new to the stream and you're just wondering why we're getting all technical here, we've played like 200 hours of this game and we had issues with it the last time we played it. We have to go over some of those again to see what's been fixed and what hasn't. And then we'll get some kangaroos going and we'll have a great time. Yeah? Can we expect a lot of this? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll play it today, though. Or at least have a look around. We might even... You know what? We might even squeak some golf in. Because I am loving the golf right now, I gotta say. I don't know. We'll see. If we really feel like building some stuff, we'll build it. If not, let's fucking golf. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of this stream. I do whatever the fuck I like. If I feel like golf, then I'm gonna fucking golf. Okay? I've just spent all morning with my kids and I'm pissed. I'm pissed about it. If I want to play golf, I'm going to play some fucking golf. If I want to build a fucking zoo, I'm going to build a fucking zoo. If I want to spend all afternoon just bombing Frontier's Twitter with the words Planet Golf, that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do, okay? Until they make that game. Because holy shit, I would love to make a golf course with this engine and stuff. You know what I mean? That's it. That's it. That's, that's what I'm saying, you know? Planet Gold. I don't know about Planet Gold. Planet Golf, though, yes. Okay. Uh, so we need to probably make this one bigger is what I'm saying. Also, see this plants? See the plants here? The coverage? Okay, 100%, that's fine. All of these plants that are in here are good for the crocodiles. But see the coverage here? Animal has adequate plant and tree coverage. 30% is where they max out. So if I added one more plant in here, it would tip this over into the red. Right? Because it's too many plants. And then you would see people like this guy. This guest here, Rufus Draper, who's currently viewing crocs, would start to complain. He would say, there's too many plants in here. And then maybe he wouldn't donate as much as he would normally sort of thing. You know what I mean? A little annoyance. Just a little annoyance there. So it means that you, ha you end up with these big pens that look sparse. You know what I mean? I build a pen. I want to fill it with junk. I want there to be fucking junk everywhere. You know what I mean? So yeah. So that this is why we have the uh, the cassowaries here. Look how sparse it is. See what I mean? I mean this is a small pen to be fair, but we're already kind of maxed out here. Oh no, actually there's way more. Oh yeah, you know why I didn't put so much in this one? I toned down the coverage of this one because this pen is just too small. What we might do, I think, is. Uh, we might just yank these guys out of here and make bigger pens for them. And then maybe just put some tortoises in here. Tortoises are the, are the best animal in this whole game. You know why? They're like, no maintenance. When they have sex, they make like fucking hundreds of babies. Yeah, they're like, uh, they're a huge money maker. The, the crowds love them. They, they turn up here and they just donate. Like, they're just fucking like, they're like spraying money out of their butts like diarrhea. Just donating like crazy. They love them. They love them. Very, a very economical choice. It's all about efficiency, yeah. All right, so here's, uh, like I said, here are the, uh, the uh, cassowaries. Oh, hang on a second. We've got a bit of an inbreeding issue here. Who's about You're to inbreed? Mini You glorious Blue. bastard. Glad hang I can on. catch your stream for once. Oh, yeah, this Play is more his daughter. Rig, please. Love your oh. dad. Let me just box up. We don't want any more. We don't want any inbreeding here. Captain Assbeard, thanks for the 10 bucks. I will play some digging rig again at some point, I promise. All right, so we have two southern cassowaries here. Look at them. Look at them. These things are weird, eh? They're like kind of like emus, but not emus. They, kind, they look like peacocks and emus combined together with like some sort of turkey aspects to them as well. Like look at these little ball sacks that hang down in front. What are those? What are those little ball sacks that they have on their chins? They can kill you. Well, no, they can't. We're playing a video game. Unless I get, like, some DVT or something from playing it. it that's its pernunus. No, I don't think that that's it, actually. I don't think that's it. Look, there's a little bit of ass sniffing going on here. The uh, This female is huge compared to the male as well. Look at this one. Mini Gululu is uh, just a small little man. Three point. Oh, it's because he's so small. That's why. A third. It's a bit of a cougar we got in here. Thirty-six years old. Thirty-six point four years old. 
And uh, this guy's only four years old. Bit weird. Bit weird. Uh, so yeah, so that's one of the uh, one of the new animals. Uh, I don't know if the crocs are new, but they are apparently Australian. So they live in northern Australia. Um, look over here. Check it out. One of them's on the fritz here, but I think this guy might be coming to fix it. Here are some vending machines. We got a gulpy. We got a chief beef here. We got some places for people to sit. Sit down and enjoy a soda and maybe a burger or something if they want to. It's nice. Some bins everywhere too. Some nice little sheltered areas to sit down because the sun is hot here. We're in like a, in, in a hot climate. I built a fountain. Look. Look at this fountain that I built. It's got some water effects on it and stuff. It's pretty nice, I think. Some flowers and shit there too. Yeah. 37 degrees. Yeah, that's a hot one. Um, you could buy hot dogs from a vending machine in this game. So it sounds like paradise to me. Um, and some cosmic cow milkshakes. Uh, the vending machines look really, really smart, don't they? They look really good. Look at this guy. Just bought a, bought a fresh dog. Look at him go. Fuck off he goes. Just eating his dog. <laughs> Not even eating it the right way. He's doing a side eat on a hot dog. Maybe we should get security to come and arrest this guy. Uh, excuse me, sir. That's not how you eat a hot dog. What the fuck is wrong with you? Take him to jail. We'll <laughs> throw him in the slammer and that's it. Yeah? Just kick him right out of the... <laughs> He's a pioneer. <coughs> I tell you what. A pioneer would not eat a hot dog like that. Okay. And then over here... This one's kind of new, but again, a little bit sparse. I don't really know what to do with it. Got some fucking dingoes in here. Look at these things. Look at them. Look. Scarlet. Scarlet, the 7.4 years old female dingo, is eating what looks like, I don't know, the result of like a prolapse off the ground. Kind of gross, but look at They're really cute. No? Really cute. Look at him. Look, I don't even really like dogs that much, but these guys are cute. Look at him go. Ah. He's got some, look, he, they don't even attack the keepers or anything. The keepers just come in here and they're just like, whatever. Oh. He's got the scent. He's got the scent. Okay. Food shops, good. Um, what else? We should have some vet stuff happening here too. What's this? Oh uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, we've maxed out the dingoes. Um, and this facility is inaccessible somehow. What? How? How do they figure? Okay. I don't know why that's inaccessible, but we'll find out. We'll see what happens. Um, it looks like we're gonna have some baby cassowaries in a sec. Look. Alinta. Alinta is about to give birth. Have you ever seen what a baby cassowary looks like? They're kind of cute, actually. You ready? Look, any minute now. I'll speed it up a little bit. Never. Okay, well, here you go. Here they come. Look, they're just having a little rest here. It's nice and quiet here, too. Look, you can barely hear all the crowds back here. They must love it. I think we need to fix up these chain link fences. Look, they're a little bit, they're a little bit busted. Yeah, we got, we've got mechanics. Okay, here she comes. Do the do. Oh. She's ready. Here they come. Boop. We're ready to see your childs. Oh. Oh. Offspring still imminent. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Look at them. Look at these. Ah. Look at the little babies. There. They can live in there until they mature, and then once they mature, we're going to have to get them out of here. Because these guys are just going to fight all the time. We need a bigger pen for them, pretty much. Look, they got everything they need here. They got balls. They got some gross old food that they can eat. Not bad, no? It's the circle of life, yeah. Right, over here, uh, we've got the toilets. And also, we have a blue-tongued lizard. See if you can spot the lizard. 
I can't see him anywhere. He is in here somewhere, though, apparently. Maybe he's, like, hiding in a rock or something. See him? There he is. Look, he's on the tree. I see him. You see his little tongue comes out, too? Yeah, he's right there. He's right there. Um, I don't know if people like him that much. He made 132 bucks, which is not too bad, right? Hang on a second. I just got to make sure that... Oh, my God. What a guy. What a guy. Oh, my God. You know what, chat? I am... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have something so exciting in the works right now. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. You're going to love it, but I don't think I can say anything just yet. But it's in the works, okay? It's in the works. That's all I can say. Sorry to be that guy, but that's all I can tell you. But it's exciting, okay? And when it happens, you guys are just going to be like, Pfft. oh, it's going to be the best. It's going to be the best. Okay, over here, look, we've got a pip shot juice that seems very popular. Look, oh, looks like our dingoes are about to have some babies as well. Do you want to see some Scarlet's about to give birth apparently in here? Oh, look at Max. Look at Max is a five-star golden dingo. That's good. Scarlet, Sophie. Sophie is 2.7 years old. Okay, we don't want any weird inbreeding happening here either, but I think it does happen in the wild. Okay, Scarlet is about to give birth. Are you guys ready? It's not a band reunion. No, it's not that exciting. It's not that. Ah, oh, look. Look, she had one little pupper. One little tiny pupper has been born. It's Madison. <laughs> Very American name. Madison's Creek. Oh, look. Right out the box, look. He's ready to go. Running around and howling. And look, he's picked up the scent. No, he just walked over the scent. He's going to go have a little play with the ball. No, he's not too, like... Look at him. Look at the baby dingo. Look at this one's taking a dump over here. Nice. Freaking dingoes are crazy. Um, of course, dingoes survive on a diet of uh, human babies. So we um, normally steal them at the front door, and then um, we, we put them in here. We put them in here for their dinner. Yeah. It's a little, a little pupper. Uh, so that's all we got so far. We got this building here that I was messing around with yesterday. It's actually two buildings uh, to make it fit around the stairs. See, like I've had to split it in half. And then I put these gardens on the side here. And I think the next thing I was going to do was I was going to fart around with this a little bit more. And then I was going to try to get some kangaroos going. Um, kangaroos being probably like uh, the, the, the really iconic Australia animal. There's koalas as well that we could do too. Uh, we could get some koalas in here too. I'm just not sure quite where to put them. I don't know how Max the dingo is about to die of old age. The circle of life continues. Max the dingo is dead. He is dead. That's him there. Look, poor Max. He only lived nine years. Now he's dead. He ate a lot of babies. And he made some babies too, actually. Um, but we're going to need to maybe... We're going to need to get another male in, I think. We're going to have to get another male in to replace Max. Tell us, Uncle Sipsy. Is it an electric car? Would it be too much to get the tallest, biggest pine tree named after me? I don't know. Do if you they can... even have those? I don't even so know. So happy if you can to name. see you playing Planet oh, yeah, Zoo again. Maybe Full it will trigger your want to play some cities skylines. Tree, there. It's not a pine tree. It's a uh, Strangler Fig Tree Three. But there you go. You can have that one. Thank you so much, Full Ahead, for the ten bucks. I appreciate it. Thanks. Hang on a second, chat. I'm still wheeling and dealing here. Nice. Nice. You're doing right. Great, Sips, yeah. this is the Australian police. You are under arrest for insulting our proud country's dino tradition. 
Right. Send us $50,000 adus or we take you to Kangaroo Court. Oh no. I've heard about Kangaroo Court. Oh. I'm scared. I'm scared of that. I need to, um... I need to do some grid work here. You guys ready for this? Look, I've become such a pro with the grids. I've become such a huge pro when it comes to these grids now. I think we're going to need to get some more facilities over here. So I need to sort of keep this here. Because uh, we need to get power. Look, I got some power here. What? It's gold IRL. What's that? After Kangaroo Court is Kangaroo Jail. Hey, sh Shabladu. Shabladu, thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate it. What's gold IRL? I don't know. Somebody just said it's gold IRL. I don't know what they mean. I don't know what that means. I'm I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can fit koalas over here actually. Where is the koala? I I I would imagine koalas don't need a huge enclosure, right? I'm probably right about this. No. Just a small little tiny one. They do need some climbing space and a grade 1 climb proof as well. Temperature is fine. Um is there any Interspecies. We can put them in with the kangaroos, apparently. Koalas and kangaroos could go in together. Can anything live with dingoes? Or would dingoes just eat everything? Let me just check quickly. Dingoes? No. Okay. Alright, so what was that one? It's koala. And the red kangaroo. Red kangaroo needs... Not that much space either, actually. 330 meters squares. It's no problem. And they live well with the... They can share uh, habitat with koalas. If they want. Or we could just do like a separate koala enclosure. I'm fine doing a separate one actually. It just needs to be a small little one. We get a little... We can get a little koala in there, right? Put them together. Well, then we'd have to make a bigger enclosure. I, I, I prefer smaller enclosures, honestly. I don't want huge ones. Like this dingo one in my mind is way too big but even then they're almost out of space look you get a couple of dingoes in here and look see they need so much they they need a lot of uh, roaming room the dingoes don't koalas not want to be together i don't know apparently they want to be with kangaroos in this so hey what do you think of this that's kind of cool isn't it i didn't make that by the way it's just like a it's part of a collection i think uh I think it was made for, like, somebody. Like, they made it into a collection. You can have all these little individual parts, though. So you can make your own designs. But it's pretty neat, isn't it? Epico made that, apparently. Yeah, right. I don't think you did, bitch. The price is wrong, bitch. The price is, the price is wrong. We need a way to get over here. Because we, uh, we might just expand this zoo in the end and get a whole bunch of shit in here, right? We might get some giraffes and stuff, too. Because we're going to run out of Australian animals. We want to get stuff that can thrive in the heat. Some tortoises. Let's get like some rhinos and stuff like that. Planet golf. Golf IRL. Oh, golf IRL. You want me to film myself playing golf IRL? Would you be disappointed to know that I'm not very good at golf IRL? Like, because I'm pretty good at golf. The video game golf. But I'm not that great at it IRL. And I do, wouldn't want to disappoint you guys. You know what I mean? I'm not in the business of uh, disappointing my uh, my adoring fans. If anything, I actually want you guys to be very happy. A Triforce Golf Day. <laughs> now that would be something. No? No? That'd actually be pretty cool. I think we could just do a small little koala hut here. Right? I'm just going to do like a little, a little one for the koalas. They just need a grade one. So you can put them behind a hedge if you want. I think glass is fine, right? We only want people looking from this direction here too. That should be fine. Um, and then we'll have like some brick. We'll have some brick along here, some bric-a-brac. And then let's have brick along the back as well. Oh, I think this is like too... 
it lets you place it, but then sometimes it won't let you place the next one. It's too far over. You have to like attach it and then move it yourself, see? Got to move it back into position. Panel's too long. Okay, let's move this into position here. Panel still what? Can't be. Hello? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> the trigger. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I'm getting triggered already. Uh, I'm already about to go nuts. Oh, Jesus. It's too much. Too much for my poor little ticker tape. Alright, how does that look? Not bad. Then we could just shove the keeper's door on the side here like that. I kind of like the brick. I think the brick's kind of nice. All right, and the other thing is we have to make sure that um, we actually have koalas available on the market. Again, this is challenge mode, so it's not guaranteed. So we're looking for um, a koala, and we have to make sure that they can't... Okay, yeah, there's a female here. There's a, a male here, too, actually. He's nine years old that we can spend some leaf bucks on. Okay. Yeah, and then in storage we want to send the uh, the male one here too, right? Okay, let's see what these guys look like. We're gonna deliver them in here, and then we're gonna we're gonna work on their habitat. That'll be the way to do it, right? Uh, we could go into facilities here though, and we could get a board so you can actually see what they are. Oh, look at him! I don't think there's power over here. Oh, look! <laughs> oh, look, he's just having a little sniff of his own wiener. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so, uh, terrain, there's no hard shelter. Terrain is fine. They have no climbables, and they don't like the long grass. They need a little bit of sand and stuff in here. Not fans of the long grass. Too much long grass. We'll leave a little bit of long grass in there for them, but let's get some sand in here and maybe a little bit of rock. Short grass they like too. They can have infinity short grass, but the long grass they do not like. I don't even know where the rest of this long grass is. Hello? Ah, there, okay, we got it. Alright, good. What kind of trees do they like? They want some... Okay, let's go nature. What's up, bitch? Glad you got started a little late. I can finally watch your stupid fucking stream again. Have so they some want money. Tropical and temperate. Hey! Uh, McWee Todd, thanks so much for the 20 bucks, man. I appreciate it. Okay, we need to give them a tree that they can climb up. That doesn't look tall enough somehow. Maybe they'll like to climb up that one? No. I think I have to give them a, a an actual frame, right? I have to give them, a, like, a, a climbing frame. That they can climb up. This is all like stuff that they can climb up, right? Okay, let's see. We don't want a huge platform. Ah, uh, that's fine actually. Just a small platform works. You're doing great, Dad. Hey, look, he's going for it. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> of course, yeah. What's this? A food cage. Species. 
koala. I think we're being... Um, I think people are already protesting against our treatment of the koalas. Not great. So, oh, this, yeah, I've got one of those for the, uh, whatchamacallits. Okay, let's give him some water at the back here. You need so much space for these things, like... Is it, is it because it's like some clipping or something? Flattened terrain. Chat's protesting too. What about... What's wrong, chat? What's wrong? About the, about, oh, eucalyptus. All right, okay. Hang on a second. A eucalypt, a eucalypt, wow. I'm not letting them climb off that. Some of these trees are too big, chat. We don't want them escaping. Uh, will he climb up that? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, if I go into habitat, though, and I give... Wait, so Koala doesn't get any of the the climbing frame stuff? Let's put a herb scent marker in here for them. And then let's also put a feeding platform here, too. Okay, they need more plants. They need many more plants. Let's see if they climb up that tree. They both look really miserable. They look very depressed, these little guys. They're not having a good a good time of it. At all. But they don't need that much room to um move around, right? Let's get some of these like plants in here. I think we could put like bamboo in here and stuff too, right? Bamboo counts. They're cleaning up his poo. It was climbing. It was trying to. Hey, look! Oliver. <laughs> Oliver and Willow. Here they go. Come on, do a climb! Do a climb! Oh. That's an attractive tree. I like that. Some of these bushes are way too big. Okay, let's get like a bigger bush back here. I I'm a I'm a big believer in you can never have too many bushes, you know? I love a good bush. I love a good bush. You too? Good. Good. The bigger the bush, the better. Um, right, we're gonna need some facilities over here. Namely, we're gonna need another power, and we're gonna need... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's nice, actually. Solar panel. Let's take it. Okay, we need water treatment as well. What's the range on this? Base range, effective range. Uh, where's the where's the overlay thing again? Ah, oh, food shops is all done. What do you want to research next? Africa? South America? Souvenir shops. Okay, let's get souvenir shops researched. Tickets are underpriced. Okay, let's make them eight bucks and four bucks for kids. And just watch the money roll in. You know, watch the money roll on in. All right, they need some more climbable stuff. Okay. Habitat. This is just for koalas. They need some more enrichment stuff too, right? Great, Sips is the man, the man with the can, the can that can fill out my land. Uh. He has the rump, the dually lump, to destroy any serious sump with a lovely dump. Huh. 
Kisses and hugs from your porcelain kingdom, sire. Hey, Daniel, thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Where is the... Ah, yeah, it's right here, the heat map. Okay, so power-wise, we're good. Um, the That isn't as good. And then water treatment. Ah, it looks like that is just reaching water treatment as well. It just needs to touch. Okay. And that means that this one is two. Perfect. Okay, that's pretty efficient. That's good. Oh, I'll tell you what else we need as well. Very important. We need some donation bins up in this bitch. We gotta make some money here. Okay. Hey, look, he's climbing the tree. He's stuck inside the tree. Look, his friend is watching him. Not again. Oh, look, he's... <laughs> All right. Okay, that's better. That's better. Look, he's figured it out. He's figured it out. Look. Look at him go. Oh, he's disappearing. Oh, these trees are great. Oh, look. Look when they're just sitting there. <laughs> look when they're just sitting in the tree. Oh, man. How can you not like koalas? Look at them. They're so cute. Fuck, they're so cute, eh? No, no. He's not going to escape. They could escape, actually. I might have to move this over a little bit. Just move it over a little bit and let we can put some more like uh, climbing stuff here for them, right? Let's get rid of this. So the tree doesn't count as shelter, right? It doesn't count. It couldn't count. I'm going to put like another uh, like a log that attaches from here onto the tree. And maybe that'll give some more climbability. Look, we're going to have it go like this. Okay, and then... Oh, look at all this junk. This is a, a bigger climbable log that's trying to... Oh my lord. What's it trying to do? It's trying to... It's trying to decimate my balls. Is what it's trying to do. It's really... It's really working overtime to... Seriously bust my balls. I don't know what it's trying to place on right now. I just wanted to do this so that they can like try to climb over it. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm like nowhere fucking close. Is it in the tree? Yeah, okay, finally. <laughs> it's like that time on, on Kerbal all over again. <laughs> you remember that? This fucking tree. Tree, go away! The size of it. There. <laughs> Maybe he could just like swing over there or something. I don't know. Need more of these trees. I think we do. I don't think this tree works, though. They keep bugging out. We almost have enough climbables in here for them. I think they get to the top and then it just, uh, it crates them up again. They get crated up. How do you know which ones are climbable? Does it tell you, like, here? Biomes? Oh, climbable. Oh, this is, this is climbable too, apparently. Uh-oh. An animal has escaped, apparently. It's not the koalas, right? Or it probably is. What else is it going to be, right? Nah, he didn't escape. It was just like a temporary escape. When God had finished making the earth and light, he thought to himself, I shall make a man. Yet Adam was lonely and asked God, Please, I am bored. Please make planet golf. So God took his rib and made Eve. 
Adam said what the fuck I want planet golf you ass. You know what? I agree. I agree with that. I also want planet golf so bad. I want it so bad. It's all I can think about. All I can think about is Planet Golf. Okay, I don't know if he's even going to climb up this. I have no idea. Let's see if he does, though. And then when he gets to, like, this bit here, he can, like, perch up on these things, right? Possibly. Maybe he wants to climb across there, but equally, maybe he would like to do, like, one of these kinds of climbs. Look. He might want to do one of these climbs. No? Um, okay. How's this? Okay. Climbables is fine. Space is fine. They have no hard shelter, though, to sleep in. I thought they just slept in trees, but maybe they don't. I thought that maybe the tree, the canopy of the tree would be enough. I don't know if a koala would sleep in a cave. Do you think a, a koala would sleep inside a cave? I'm not sure about that, chat. Make a tree house. You want me to make a tree house? They have to climb up to it and get in there? Okay. Look, we can use this new... Um, We can use some of the new building materials. Look. I don't know. I think this treehouse is going to be a little bit too big. Is this planet golf? It could be. It could be. This is this is what it what it takes. All right, we're going to need some like wood up here. I think that's too big. Do you think it could climb up into here and then use this as its shelter? I sure hope so. We need a flat roof now. Maybe we just use like this. Metal. Look at that. That's great. I wonder if it counts as shelter. Oh, there's no hard shelter. I don't think you can put hard shelter up in a tree for them to climb into. I don't think it works like that. It'd be awesome if you could, though. I won't be able to get this out now because this tree is just like the, the selection like box. For ah, there we go. Yeah, there's a shelter overlay. They have to be able to path to it. It won't work. See, look, if you go into habitat. And you click on him. See, they can't get up there. Even though they can climb up there, no problem. Ah, uh, maybe we just need to be, maybe we just need to connect it with these things. Because look, it looks like he could climb up some branches, but not all of them. Okay, let's try something else here then. Let's see if he can actually habitat. Look, it looks like he's going to make it. He just kind of stopped short. Maybe if we just put like a... Um, that's a bit thick. Hello? What?
I'm like way too grumpy to play this today. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me strength. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Like this. Uh-huh. Let's adjust a little bit here. Nope. What? An animal has escaped. Which? Come on, he's not escaped. He's just on the roof of the house. <laughs> we may be playing golf in a minute. <laughs> this is driving me crazy already. Okay. Look, like this. Like that. And then... Oh. Oh. Okay. I wonder if he could climb to it now. Yes! It works! I think it works! Okay, hang on a sec. Yeah, 70% hard shelter. Oh, man. That's great. That's really good. It works. You can put a tree house. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, good. Good job, everybody. A round of applause for all of you. What a great idea. That was a great idea. That's a great idea. Perfect. Okay, now look at all of these people enjoying the view. Of our koalas. Koalas. That is nice. That is real nice. They keep boxing them up though. I think they get stuck. Uh, he's like teleporting around and stuff. He can't quite figure out. Maybe, uh, maybe he's smart. Maybe it's like AI learning. Maybe after he's done it one time, he'll just do it forever. Like after he finds the pathing or whatever. You know? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the one. Koala learning. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think. Uh-oh. Don't do it. I gotta get you out of here. Where's the other one? I gotta get you out of here too. Okay. All right. Our breeding program for cassowaries is is going well. We have tons of reserve cassowaries. Some mostly females, I should say, but pretty good. Okay. Where are they now? Oh. Look, they're having a real nice time in here, climbing around and stuff. This is good. This is real good. This is good. Okay, so habitat for um, species. Koalas. Have we unlocked anything new for these? We should be... Oh, maybe I didn't set him to do the vet research yet. No, I didn't. Okay, Jared Diggs. Get to work. Get to work. Um, yeah. I think that looks nice, actually. I mean, I know, I know the the um, I know the 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 animal pens are all so kind of square, boring looking, or whatever for now. But I don't know. I feel like if we get people into the zoo and we make some money and stuff, then we can like change it around later. Make have like bigger projects. You know what I mean? Am I going to make a train line? I don't know. I might make a train line. I'm not sure. I 
Have I been feeding my dingoes plenty of babies? Yes, I have been. I've fed the dingoes so many babies. Just a constant supply of babies coming in for the dingoes. How's this guy doing? They don't live very long. This guy's almost middle age already. Whoa. <laughs> it's the hot dog rage. Look, there's too many people here. You're just gonna have to, just gonna have to stop and look. Okay, I'm gonna need to put another thing over here. Look. We need another donation bin here, just in case. My game is sped up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I always, I always speed it up. I don't play on the slowest possible setting. Give us some red pandas. Wait, red pandas aren't Australian, are they? Red kangaroos, you mean? You want red kangaroos? Do we want kangaroos, like, just over here? Or, what about this area back here? I haven't really used it for anything yet. We could have, like, a... You know, like a fucking magical entrance into Narnia. So I think kangaroos are going to be a, like a, a pretty big one, though. Everybody's going to want to see them. So we're going to have to have like lots of extra space to accommodate the hordes of slobbering people who are going to want to go and look at kangaroos, right? Some red, some red kangas. Do a kangaroo fight club. The kangaroo pen also doesn't need to be that big, but we are going to have to add um, some sort of uh, water treatment over here soon. Let's align this to the grid. And then I can get this other facility in. So this is going to be water treatment. I'm just putting this stuff here for now. I'll, I'll make buildings for it, like, at, a, at another time. But for now, this stuff just lives outside. It's fine. Hey, Willow is expecting... Wow, we're gonna have some baby koalas already! Man! They didn't waste much time, did they? They pretty much just got in here and then whammo! Ah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. They got their new house and that, that that was it. They were off on one. Oh. All right. I'll make this pen for the kangaroos. I'm going to move this as well, actually. I'll move it just over here. So then I can make the kangaroo pen a little bit more like this one. This will be like a little alley down here. I'll square it off. Uh, we need to check the particulars for kangaroos, actually. So what is a red kangaroo? Natural habitat. So they need 330 square meters, and they need a grade 3 fence over 3 meters. Okay, grade 3. So what do we have for grade 3? Red brick is grade 5. Wood logs are grade 3. We could have wood logs with the windows in. And it has to be higher than three meters. So we can still have brick on the side here. Because that's a five. Okay, let me shorten this one out a little. We'll make the kangaroo one a little bit bigger. So we have more room for the kangaroos. Got another itch that I need scratching. Uh, what do you mean? Why? Oh, because I'm playing this. I've been playing this like in my free time as well. It's been pretty fun. I've enjoyed it. But if you mean golf, I think we'll get a couple of rounds of golf in before the end of the day for sure. We're going to have to, right? I have to play golf today. Just I'm I'm thinking about the the links and I'm just like just got to get out there. Got to get it out into sunny Louisiana and just shoot a couple of balls, you know. Just got to shoot just a couple of couple of little balls. All right. 
so on so this hang on so this is two meters right So we have to elevate all of this to at least three. And then on these, we need to have the glass. There we go, baby. Okay, now you can admire the kangaroos from the safety of behind the glass. Okay, and then we'll put a door here so that these guys can access this too right it needs to be like right across the way how's that no am i drinking tea no i've been promised one though i think there might be a tea coming out my way but it's not here yet it looks kind of nice lit up you like the lights in the fountain? It could do with more lights overall, I think. But for now, it's looking all right. No? You drank my tea. Come on. Very You're nice. Okay. Great, do you guys man. like the zoo so far? Do you think it looks all right? Or do you think it looks kind of shitty? And I feel like it doesn't look like... Um, I, I think we've built better zoos, honestly. There's not enough rocks on this one for me. There's not enough rocks on this one. Have you guys ever seen Berryland before? That was fucking beautiful. Too many squares. Yeah, I know. I, it's been a while since I played, so I've, you know. It doesn't have a lot of personality, no. It seems very functional, doesn't it? It's just like a, a, a very functional zoo. It's very flat. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember when we made Terryland? That was, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? But the whole thing... Because the refunds and everything was, was such a mess when the game launched. Um, I ended up taking it mostly apart, remember? Just a whole bunch of stuff just didn't work. We were just hemorrhaging money constantly. Okay, let's get some garbage cans in here. Because people are going to be like eating Snickers bars and looking at the kangaroos, right? There's a group of people glitching up beside the dingoes. Yeah, I know. They were over there earlier as well. I think there's just too many people crammed in here. Look. Breaking the hot dog squad vending machine, etc. Yeah, the economic stuff seems a bit a bit better now. I think they fixed it. Right. Animal trading. We would like to get in some uh, red kangaroos. Let's see what these guys look like. Red kangaroos. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got a female here. No males, though. We're going to have to wait. <gasps> hey, look. Our koalas are about to have babies. Have you ever seen a baby koala before? I imagine they look just like adults, but much smaller. Just like little tiny ones. Is this her? Yeah, it is. Okay, Willow's about to shit out a baby. Look, you ready? Go on. You can do it. Oh, she's done it already. <laughs> I was right. Look at him. He's just like a little miniature version. Oh, nice. She's had a baby. There. Look, she's got to teach it how to climb up to go to bed and stuff, right? Ah, that's really cute, isn't it? That's really cute. Here's our kangaroo. Look. Okay. What does a kangaroo need? Terrain, it doesn't need hard shelter, apparently. Terrain is 100%. Loads of space to move around. The terrain is fine. Even plant coverage is, like, pretty good. We don't need to change this one around much at all. It's just ready to go. Need some boxing gloves and maybe a punching bag. Yeah, I think so. We'll do some research. Oh, we're about to lose our cougar. Cassowary is about to die. We're going to have to replace the... Oh, I think she's dead already, actually. She died in front of her fans. <laughs> look at how bummed out they look. Just drop dead. You ever been to a zoo before and watch an animal die? Jesus Christ. Jesus. Hey, mom, look. She just fucking dies. 
All right, we got to get a uh, somebody not related to Mini Gululu uh, out here now. Who is not related to Mini Galulu? You can see, right, who their who their father or is or whatever. Isn't there like a, a tree? Female, young adult. This one's in the trade center in a private zoo. That could be. Who's this? This is Mawukura. Okay, I don't know which ones. We're going to send this one in and hope for no inbreeding. But maybe some inbreeding might happen. Okay. Ready? They're going to bring the new one out here. And it's going to be party time all of a sudden. Alright, so red kangaroo needs some stuff in its habitat. Koala, get out of here. We, we're we all about red kangaroos now. Now that we've added some red kangaroos here. Okay. A red kangaroo is for sure going to want to play with a soccer ball. Right? And I would have thought a red kangaroo will need to have some food. And the red kangaroo will also need some fresh water. Oh. Okay. That's his daughter, unfortunately. Okay, we got to get him out of here. Get out. We got to find one that's not his daughter, right? Some of these we can just sell off. Oh, God, there's so many males here, actually. We got to find ones that, that aren't related. But I don't know how to, how to, how to find those. There's got to be a way, right? We can release them into the wild for leaf bucks or quick trade them for actual money, which we don't really need right now. Do you know if there's a way? What's wrong with fucking your daughter? Well, it creates a bad gene pool. The tree. Where's the tree? Where is that tree? Where's the tree? That's what I was looking for, the tree. You mean a pure gene pool? Well. Well. The branches aren't meant to connect. No, no, they're not. That's not how a family tree... That's not how a family tree works. One of these has to be... Who is your dad? I wish I could... I wish I could tell who their dad was just from this screen. That would be super useful. I don't see an option to do that, though. I know it's a zoo game, but man, I kind of hate micromanaging all the animals. Okay, we've got some... We've made some progress on koalas. That's good. <laughs> okay, that's all research now, too. Um, let's go for... The Australia theme is done. India theme. Let's go for the South America theme. There's got to be some decent stuff in there, right? Some good building pieces. Just let them roam free and inbreed and stuff too. This is the stud book. Parents. Unknown father. Okay. Maybe this is not inbreeding then. The father is unknown. You can access the stud book once they're in play. Ah, look. How old is this? 3.9 years old? It's pretty good. Animal market. Oh, there's a couple of males here now, too. Look. Okay. We can make some babbies. Try to make some little babbies. We got some koalas. Oh, look it. Watch out down there, little guy. They're up there pooping. Look, you. they just missed you. You gotta be more careful. Look, these, these guys are just up here having the time of their life. Look, the little baby's just sat down here. He doesn't even know how to climb yet. He's got You're poop almost great. falling on him, everything. I don't know if you remember my dream about you yesterday, oh, but shit. I had another one. This time you birthed me and held me against your glorious stubble. You Jesus. cut my little baby face and I screamed, but you fed me your mill from your tit and I was okay. Nice. I like that. That's, you know what? That's a better dream. 
All right. Well, they 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 inbred. They they did do some inbreeding, unfortunately. Hey, look, Duncan is here. Look. That doesn't look like Duncan. That doesn't look anything like him. Let's get him out of here. Get out of here, Duncan. Can't drop him in here. <laughs> let's drop him in here. Wait, let's drop him in with the dingoes. <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't drop him in. You can't dunk Duncan. He's undunkable. It's the new, oh, the new and improved Duncan. That's right, yeah. It's the new one. Facilities. Viewing things. Let's get a thing on here for the red kangaroos. Nice. Very good. Now at least people know what they're looking at. Oh, look. They're mating. The kangaroos are mating. Oh, isn't that romantic? Look at that. Okay, they've done it. They have done the deed and the baby is on its way. Yeah. The old breeding program is going well, no? A kangaroo -ting. Right. So, in terms of... Uh, Red Panda is Asian, okay? Africa, South America, North America, Europe, North America, Asia, Africa. Africa, Africa. Asia... O o Oceania. O Oceania. Ocea I, I can't pronounce that. It's too hard. It's just too hard for me. What about... Okay, cassowary we have already. Hyenas? No. A Thompson's gazelle? No. A Titan beetle? No, thanks. South America. I think that's it. I think that's all of them, right? A hippo. We got the red... We got the red kangaroo. A red roughed... Lemur. A Tasmanian devil. I don't think they're in here. What about a Niala? No. A llama? No, no. Oh, there are llamas, though? Fuck, that's great. I think there's another um, lizard. I think there's, like, another lizard in here. It's like a, it's a cockroach or something? Yeah, it's this. A giant burrowing cockroach. We could add that, too. What about a giant anteater? No. We got the dingo in. A Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey. A bongo. See, this sounds like an Australian animal to me. A bongo. No? You're doing great, Dad! An American bison. An African wild dog. An Aldabra giant tortoise. I think that's all of the Australian animals, guys. I think that's all of them. Koalas. Kangaroos. A lizard. Not the cockroach. We have no mechanics. Dingoes. Cassowary. And some huge crocodiles. No, there's no wombats. There's no tigers. There's no camels. None of, none of these things get some lights in the park. None of these things exist in Australia, by the way. None of them. Oh, look at this. We might have some new enrichment options for these koalas. Let's see. Species. Koala. Oh, look at this. It's a eucalyptus tree feeder. That's that's more for like Okay, let's teach them to eat out of a tree. This this is still an issue from what I've seen. Having the enrichment food and then just having a normal food platform. Sometimes if you have both in the pen, or at least I noticed the other day while I was playing, I had both in the pen and the and the keepers would not fill either of them up and the animals were starving. So I just removed the platform, went with the enrichment, and it's fine. You just skip the regular feeders? Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. I think that is the way to do it. I think that's how, you, how you're meant to do it. Okay, look. 
Let me save this. This zoo. Hogan's Australia land. Yeah. Let's go look at some other zoos that I've made as well, okay? Hang on. We have to go into the franchise mode, though. Let's have a quick trip down memory lane. Let's look at some other ones. Okay. Franchise. Look at all these. Barry Land. Jeff Land. Jeff's Australia Land, which was my first attempt at Australia. Um, you know what I did with this one, though? Old Hogan Zoo Mania. This is another one that I was working on. But you know what I did? It's, it's a North American biome, so it snows, and I had tortoises. And that drove me nuts. So I was like, you know what? I give up. There's, of course, Terry Land, which is a total mess right now. Maryland. This was the... Oh, Maryland was kind of cool too, wasn't it? Okay, let's see what Maryland looks like. This was the the Arctic stuff, right? It had all the Christmas decorations on it. Okay, let's take a quick look and see if it's still looking good. Oh yeah, I remember. We did quite a bit of work on this one, didn't we? This one, this one had the walk-through reindeer stables that didn't work. And look at all the fucking reindeer and sh goats in here. There's like a million. It's this huge enclosure just filled with reindeer and goats. And people seem to really... It, this one looked really nice at night, didn't it? With, like all lit up. We had a whole bunch of like shops and stuff here. We had the big Christmas tree with the polar bear. We had all these decorations and stuff. What is this? This is one of the other zoos that we started making. Look. We had a whole bunch of like little cottages here for the the keepers and stuff. The information desk. And then a whole bunch of sheep and reindeer. And then in here we had, um, what was in here? Wolves or something. Arctic wolves. Arctic wolves with a cave. That's right, we made a big rock cave for them. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember. Look at what the rocks and stuff. Fuck, this took forever. And then we made this big centerpiece here, the Christmas tree. And we had all this area here. What's in here again? What in the Christ did we put in here? Oh, yeah. Japanese macaque. That's right. They like the, they like the cold weather, don't they? We just started, like, working on this bit here, right? This was another one that just like, got crippled by refunds in the end, didn't it? But I don't think... Ongoing expenses... I think refunds are just completely out. Power costs, habitat repair, animal food? Look at the animal food is still cost, cost a lot. That was another issue we had. Remember in Berryland, we ran out of money because we just couldn't afford to feed all the animals. I just got too salty to ca carry on. Yeah, I did. Facility running costs and stuff. That's all right, though. Okay, look. During the day, it looks kind of nice, too, right? We built all this stuff. And, you know, now that we got the vending machines, it could be even better, though. Oh, man. We spent so much time on this, I remember. It was days and days and days and days. But it looks really nice, doesn't it? It actually turned out really good. We had like this whole area where you came down the stairs here with these buildings and toilets and stuff. Yeah, it's, this is a nice one. This is really good. I like this one a lot. It had that sort of <laughs> the chimney, the, the totally out of place chimney. But we just wanted the smoke effects, right? Where are the bears? There's no bears on this one, but we have berry land that we can go look at in a minute. I love how the snow settles on the scenery and stuff. It's just so well. The engine for this is just incredible, isn't it? It's so good. You get warnings about speakers overlapping now too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. We spent a lot of time working on like the scenery and stuff here, didn't we? Lots of tree placing, lots of rock placing, lots of building this stuff. But it, it's it's interesting, right? Because it's sort of like... You start off and then you'll have to go down into this crater. And there's like all these like stairs and stuff. It's not just like a flat, like normal layout or whatever. It's better than the squares, yeah. 
overlapping speakers, yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think I actually, I, I liked Berryland more than this. I thought Berryland was way better. Okay, let's see. Let's save and exit and we'll load up Berryland. I'm a square. Thank you very much. It's not very wheelchair accessible. No, you're right. You're right. I don't know if you noticed, but none of the guests seem to be in wheelchairs either. Um, they're just not, you know? Berryland. Resume. We're almost out of money on this one. Or in winter coats, yeah. And they complain about being cold. <laughs> they complain about being cold. I guess you're meant to heat the paths where the people are so that they don't complain about the cold. Oh yeah, chat. This one, you remember this one? It still needed a lot of work, but we'd really gotten somewhere with it, right? This one with the waterfall. It had the big waterfall here. Remember we made this huge like area here for these bears, but nobody can actually see them. But then you come down and look at them here. And then we were going to have like a little shopping village because it's like kind of out here, right? We had pandas in here with like this platform thing that they could climb up. <laughs> Fucking, I think some of these enclosures were way too big. This one was nice though with the bears. We had like the with the raging river down into the waterfall, the log and stuff. Ah, uh, the water effects look great, eh? Look really good. Have the money problems been patched? Yeah, it looks like they have actually. This one's we're making money here. Although, I think the problem with this one was repairs. Uh, not repairs. Refunds started to fuck us over. Uh, but the actual animal food was so much, right? costs a lot of money to feed bears it turns out look at this one's just having a little swim in here Woo! it's like just root sticking out i like this one this one was pretty neat wasn't it it still needed a lot of work though but look we had like all these places to buy stuff up here this was like um the exhibit place we even had a like a waterfall in here, right? There's still a lot of wa a lot of work to do though. But remember remember I started getting really salty about like hiring staff and setting up work zones they had to come in and clean up and there's like all these issues we were just losing money all the time. Nice to be back playing rock placing sim. I know. I you know what though? I, a lot of those complaints were were valid at the time, but I it looks like they fixed a lot of this stuff, I think. I don't know. This I, I like I like parts of this and parts of it I don't like. It's a little bit all over the place. Like again, though, at least it's not like a, just like a, a grid, like the Australia one that I just did is like right. Always blaming the controls. Yeah. Well, the 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 left bumper on my con my Xbox controller doesn't work, so that was a huge problem when I was playing this game as well. You know. Yeah. It's my controller is broke. That's it. When, when your controller is broken like that, what can you do? Hey, you're just at the mercy of this controller where the bumper just doesn't even even work. It just doesn't even work. All right. Do we want to see what became of Terryland after we ripped everything? Terryland was the one that we spent the most time on, right? We should really start a zoo from scratch again. Try to come up with like a nice like... <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what we should do? I think they've added options now where the animals don't die, right? So you can just have it so that you don't have to micromanage all the animals. we got to find those options so that we can just get like... We'll just get like a couple of, you know, a, a, a couple of animals into each enclosure and just leave them do their thing, right? They're immortal in sandbox. Maybe play on easy. Start from scratch and make it massive with all the themes. Fuck. We'll be playing this game forever if we do that, though. It'd be the worst, right? I don't mind playing it forever, actually. It's a great game. Okay, Berryland. What was Jeffland? I don't think Jeffland was anything. Did we just start Jeffland and not do anything with it? Because there's, like, nothing here. Jeff's Australia land. 
Hi Sips, Which one was I this? finally oh, get yeah. to donate. You have helped me through Mary some Lane. really dark times and this Old is Hogan just a little Zumania. something to say thanks. I nearly died Seriously. earlier this year but I am all good. Have you also ever been to El Tico in Jersey? They yes. are the best. Yeah, I've been there before. Hey, Becky Sharp, thanks so much for the donation. Jeez, I'm sorry to hear that you almost died earlier this year. But I'm glad to hear that you're all good. Okay, this was the original Australia land, as I was going to have it. But, like I said, look at what I did, okay? I made this enclosure for tortoises. I even heated it up and everything. Because I love them. I love tortoises. Look, they have like an indoor area. They have an outdoor area. They have an elevated area. Look, they have little babies and stuff. And then it's like snowing. <laughs> and that annoyed me. So I just restarted. But actually, I liked where this one was going. It was, it was, it was shaping up pretty nice. Look at this. I had a visitor center with this like really, really busy sign. Like you would see at a real zoo, right? With the, the visitor center sign with all the animals and shit on it. And then you go in here. And there's like all this stuff. Look, some vampires floating around here as well. Like a whole family of vampires levitating around. You can also look out here to see some. That's right. Arctic wolves. I was just starting to work like on this like platform here. And then look over here. I had this like outdoor seating area. Full of protesters who leave all of their garbage underneath the picnic tables unbelievable but yeah this is the one i'd started to do the australia stuff and then i settled on the other one and in, instead hi arctic wolves yeah we got some we got some arctic wolves in there but i like this one because look you walk in and there's a bridge i made these like uh i made these railings and stuff for the bridge look these guys don't like it so much they're out of here two wild and crazy guys running out of there anyway i didn't work on it that much i didn't really work on it that much it was one that i didn't work on a heck of a lot you know okay what happened to terryland because i don't remember i just remember we spent a whole bunch of time on terryland and one day i remember having a day where all i did was rage all day long because it ran out of money and we were like trying to delete things and trying to rebalance it, refunds and everything. Oh, fuck. It was the worst. What did we settle on in the end? Oh, yeah. Okay. Parts of Terryland are still intact, though. Like this whole area here with these stepping stone things. And we had the deer. Look at this. Nobody ever goes down here. But look, we've done all this stuff. Oh, I remember. Terryland also had up here. Remember, we had the the huge like um, the uh, the Asian buildings. Remember, we made those Asian buildings. Yeah, yeah, and we had the ASDA entrance as well. We had a monorail here and everything. Oh, look at this chat, man! We spent so much time on this. It was crazy. This path doesn't connect because people were going down here and littering like crazy and getting lost, basically. Remember, you came all the way down here, and then we had the uh, the monorail and stuff. I had to take it all apart. I had the we had hippos out here. We had an enclosure for hippos. It's all gone now as well. And this cool bridge. Remember, we built this bridge. We built all these buildings, the exhibits in here. And this was gonna be. I was starting to work on this. This was gonna be a gigantic um, tortoise um, thing. Look, with waterfalls and shit. So I was gonna have like. I was going to make, like, gigantic tortoise breeding pens. And then I I think I just gave up in the end. I didn't feel like doing it anymore. What's all this? Oh, yeah, that's right. The smoking section. We had the smoking section for staff and everything. Oh, this is the, this is the, the tortoise enclosure that we were using before, right? It had, like, all the shade and stuff. And they could come in here. This was really neat. I like this, actually. I like that. That was good. And we had a couple of other buildings here. That was the original, uh, like, cafeteria building. And then you remember when we had the walkthrough thing here? <laughs> we, we had the... We had... This was a walkthrough tortoise enclosure. <laughs> it was a disaster. It never worked. 
people would just like walk through. Oh, yeah, we built all this shit at the back too, right? We built like the. Um, we had all the staff rooms you can and stuff change back the here. Difficulty on your existing zoos too easy, and then people won't be able to refund. Right. Wait, do they refund anyway though? Because I I haven't had any refunds. Like I haven't noticed any refunds at all. Like since. Ah, oh, fuck me. Look at all these staff buildings. We had all these staff buildings over here. Man, Terryland was shaping up to be really good. Like, these buildings are nuts. They look great. Look at how detailed these are. Oh, man. Maybe I should just fucking resume Terryland. Show fucking boats. We had to dismantle it, remember? We built all this stuff in here, and it was everything was losing money. We had to get rid of it. We had this whole building for the boats and stuff. Terryland was really good, yeah. Remember, we had the boats go through here. We had flamingos. We had hippos. I mean, it was all not completed, but we were, we were getting there. We were working on it, remember? We were slowly getting there. I should just carry on with this, actually. This was, this was starting to look pretty good. Look at this building. Holy crap. It actually works, too. We need to get the other waterfall on the other side here. But we were starting to put all these statues and stuff in here. This was going to be like this like tortoise paradise in here. Start over. Oh, man. I'm tempted to pick up from here. Although a lot of this stuff will end up going. But oh, this could be a mega zoo, right? This, is, this zoo is losing money, though. The expenses were just too much. But it doesn't look like there's any refunds. I think they've just removed refunds from the game. Rightfully so as well. I think it's about time. I just, I, 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 It's just not realistic to ever issue a refund. Or at least on the scale that the refunds were happening. Right? A $10 million tortoise exhibit. Yeah, that's the one. $10 million. Probably no time for golf today. Maybe golf tomorrow. I feel like playing golf. I do feel like playing golf. But I'm glad that we picked this up. Um, what do you think of the Australia stuff? I think it's good. I think actually the DLC packs for this game in general have been good. Because it just adds more animals, right? And then normally they come with scenery stuff and everything as well. If you want to, kind of like what we've done here, you can have like sort of like a modern theme for like your entrance and your visitor center if you like and then you can really just branch off right if, especially if you you pick like a temperate map and all you got to do is like warm up um enclosures or cool them down depending what animals you have in there you can really just like have the sort of disneyland thing right where you have like a central area that spokes out into like all the themed areas and then have all the animals and shit out there which is kind of what we tried to do with Terryland, but I think at the time, uh, particularly when we first started playing, it was a disaster because uh, the economic stuff just wasn't working properly. Um, we weren't the only ones with the problems either, right? There was tons of people like on Reddit all the time saying, my zoo went from doing well to just like tanking all of a sudden and stuff. Like it, it was just, just wasn't working, you know? Didn't I send the save to develop to developers before I tore it down? I think I did, yeah. Because remember we had the whole like, the the kind of like um like the the Asian side when we had like the pandas over there. We had the huge waterfall. We had that the it was gonna be a big monorail station and everything. We built so much stuff in this. Like these buildings took forever to make. Holy crap! They really did take a long time. Even all the way down here, remember, we had that building that was here that you could look at the hippos from. And then we had that other building. I think some of it's still blueprinted, actually. Uh, blueprints. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in my custom blueprints. My blueprints. Yeah, this. The safari station. Remember this? And it had the monorail going through it. That was a pretty good one, wasn't it? The old safari station. And the idea was that you take the monorail to this place, get out, and then over here, if you remember, this whole area over here, we had it set up for a safari, and that's what tanked Terryland. Remember, we had all of those fucking empty uh, pens 
and they were just costing a fortune to carry on repairing them and stuff and people were getting stuck over here and oh it was the worst god it was the worst here this is the big asian building this is where so we had like this we built all this and detailed it and everything it took forever uh and then in the front here remember we had the uh the pandas we had the pandas out front in like the where like the square is in in the front of it but they kept they kept like glitching through the walls remember they kept glitching through like where the door is the front door where the cursor is right now they kept glitching through there all the time and you'd have to constantly deal with them escaping or whatever we also had this entrance which we did we we detailed this and remember we had all the rocks around and everything too <clears throat> lots of membering to do today rolling through the door yeah what else did we make? We made a couple of other things, right? A small tortoise house, Terryland shops and utilities, stag rock, corner park. Oh yeah, we had these little corner park things as well, didn't we? At one point. Oh, I'm glad I kept this actually. I'm glad I blueprinted this. This is a doozy. It took forever to make this, holy crap. <clears throat> so that's the entrance. These are the rocks for the entrance. See, look, they have those cool, like, dragon statue things. So, like, this bit here. Oh, yeah, and the Asian marketplace. With, the, like, some water and a nice tree. So, this is, this is, like, coffee and... So, this was up there, too. This was up, like, by this building. But we had to just uh, delete it all. Yeah, some of these are crazy, eh? Some of these we spent a lot of time on. Asian Marketplace, these are the walls for the entrance, corner park. I like the Safari Station. I thought the Safari Station was pretty great. It looked really nice, didn't it? <laughs> these fucking stupid pictures, like, all along the side. Oh, and we had some toilets, information. None of this stuff ever got used, though. It was right here. We had it here. We had all this, like, area around here that was going to join on to the safari park, but we never ended up using any of it. And this bit used to have the boats. We used to have the boats that went all the way down the river, went round here, all the way back, so that you could see a couple of... It was kind of like the like the adventure island thing at Disney, you know, when you, when you go on the little boat and you see the hippos and stuff like that. It was meant to be like that. But in the end, we just had to get rid of everything. In the end, I think what saved Terryland was we got rid of everything and we just had tortoises. And those did pretty well. They made all the money back. And now it's making money again as well. And the flamingos. The flamingos were always dirty. Remember the other problem we had with the hippos was that the water that they could go into where the boat was was so deep that keepers couldn't get under there to, to um, scoop up the poop. So there was just a fucking ton of poop underwater. And they kept getting diseased all the time because there, no there was no way to clean it up. So you have to have like shallow water in your um in your pens. Ever think about playing more Minecraft? I don't know if no, I don't think that's fixed. I had the same problem with the uh, alligators um when I was starting the Australia stuff. I had to change the pen around. Look at these guys. Look at them. <laughs> Just chilling down here. They got a little sprinkler and stuff. <laughs> look at look at how far you have to look at them from up here on this viewing platform. This is all for tortoises. This whole big building is gonna... Well, it's called Terryland, right? So it's meant to be for tortoises. We forgot to research the scuba keepers. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that this is um, straight, though. The paths. Like, it looks it looks all right, but it's, it's slightly off to the side, isn't it? And the paths... I remember the pathing here was a nightmare. Because I think we did some of this on stream, did we not? I seem, I seem to remember doing the waterfalls and stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit wonky, yeah. I mean, it looks more or less the same, doesn't it? We used to have more stuff in here, though. We had, like, alligators here. Remember, we had the Komodo dragons out here. Tortoises were, like, over here. And then we had tortoises in here. Tortoises everywhere, basically. Fuck me, man. So much stuff. Oh, there you go. Look. I tripped out memory lane. And a look at some of the new stuff. The vending machines are awesome. The new scenery stuff for Australia is really good. And the new animals are very good too. 
um, I, I think I, I think it's worth getting. If you play enough Planet Zoo and you like that sort of stuff, I'd say it's it's pretty good. It's like what ten bucks or whatever. 